my birthday was coming up, and it was, I, or on my birthday, I said, well, you know, are you gonna have my my birthday was coming up, and it was, I, or on my birthday, I said, well, you know, are you gonna uh, make it to my my birthday party? We had a dinner planned at, at our penthouse. I uh, said it would be important for me if you if you made it. Um, he. Of course, once my party was starting, he wasn't there. Um, text me at some point to let me know that he was going to make it, but that he was running late uh, evening. Um, we were in bed, and um, I was. I had a book, and Johnny um, effectively said, what's, what's, what's your fucking problem now? And uh, at the time, we were getting advice from therapists without saying what they said. Um, it was important for me not to make him feel attacked. Uh, so I chose my words carefully. I won't say what I said, but I, rem I remember being very careful about how I worded what I was feeling. She entered the bedroom <clears throat> while I was laying on my side of the bed, reading, and she was still rattling off all the wrongs I'd uh, done to her in that particular day and, and how unreliable I am and uh, what a, you know, what a horrible person I was. Um, and I, and I did not, I did not engage verbally, nothing. I sat there or laid there reading my book and when that, when she didn't get a jump out of me or a jolt out of me, she got out of bed, she walked around the bed, she came to my side, and uh, again, the, the, you know, you, you, you've got, uh, you've got a person who is uh, throwing multiple shots at your at your face, at your head, at your neck, at your, at anything she could hit. So I, I got up out of bed and I grabbed her by the shoulders and I sat her down on the bed. <clears throat> and I said, I'm leaving. Please don't get off the bed. Please don't follow me. Please don't try and stop me. I'm leaving. And she got up off the bed and she squared off at me in the doorway of our bedroom. And I said, what do you, what do you want to do? Hit me again? Would you like to hit me again? And I said, go ahead, hit me. And then I just said, did that, is that what you wanted? Would you like another? Bam. There's the second one. And I said, good, now you're done. Grabbed her by the shoulders, walked her to the bed, sat her down and said, don't follow me. Leave me alone. I'm out. I'm gone. I went, I grabbed a few things. And I got out immediately, and I went to um, my other house you know, on Sweetser. And I remember crying and feeling ridiculous that after this I would be crying and saying these things. I went to Mr. Bett and said, uh, she's, in Coachella. she's at Coachella. I think it's a good time to go downtown so that I can get some of my things, you know. He said, I don't think now's a good time to go. And I thought, it's the perfect time. She's not going to be home for two days. And then he showed me a photograph on his telephone of, uh, it was a, it was a, it was a photograph of the bed, our bed, um, and on, my side of the bed 
um, was human fecal matter. On the way to Coachella that evening? We had a conversation pertaining to the surprise she left in the boss's bed prior to leaving the apartment. And when you refer to the surprise in the boss's bed, what are you referring to? The defecation. And what did Ms. Hurd say about the defecation in Mr. Depp's bed? A horrible practical jerk gone wrong. This is a video you made when you drove to Coachella with your friends for your 30th birthday, right? That's correct. I'm not quite sure which one of us made the video, but that's correct. You're featured in that video, driving. That's correct. And it's set to the song Miss You by the Rolling Stones, is that right? That's correct. And that was a message for Mr. Depp, wasn't it? No, that's ridiculous. I don't want a divorce. I never wanted a fucking divorce. I never wanted a divorce. I didn't want you to fucking go to Coachella without fucking talking to me. Because I left you because you, you were fucking... You fucking haymakered me, man. You came around the bed to fucking start punching on me. Why? That's what really happened the evening of your 30th birthday, isn't it, Ms. Hurd? No, Ms. that's incorrect. Mr. Depp was in bed, and then you came around the bed and started punching him. That's incorrect. You don't deny that in the recording, do you, Ms. Hurd? I'm not having that conversation with Johnny. I'm not denying anything. I'm not saying anything. I'm not having that conversation with Johnny. I was trying to get out of that hotel room. Uh, that was a mediation attempt. That was the recording you just heard. It was us meeting in a hotel. But you're talking about your 30th birthday. No, we're not. And you're not talking about going to Coachella and... Johnny's talking about that. I am not arguing with him about any of that. Right. You don't deny anything, do you? I'm not talking to him about that. I'm going to um, publish exhibit or ask that the witness be shown exhibit 1265. you and your friends at Coachella, correct? That is correct. I'm going to move to admit plaintiffs 1265 and publish it. No objection. All right, 1265 in evidence. You can publish it. There's no injuries to you. Are there, Ms. Heard, visible in this picture? You cannot see any visible injury, no. 